Hello friends, Heather here from The Sewing Loft and today we are making a drawstring jewelry pouch. It's perfect for all of your little items that you want to toss into a bag and make sure don't get lost on the trip. During class, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create beautiful drawstrings just by using the bias binder foot. Now this project we're going to be using fat quarters I've pulled out some beautiful colors from frosted by Michael Miller a contrast lining here I'm using a jet black a lightweight fusible interfacing for body we'll also be using the bias binding foot to create our drawstring eyelets basic sewing supplies including a heat erasing marking pen so go ahead, gather everything up, and let's get ready for our next step. Okay, to get started, we're going to use a round object. I'm using just a plate from my cupboard to create our template. And I'm going to put it face down on the wrong side of my fabric and just simply trace it out with my heat erasing pen. Then it's just about cutting this out. We're going to cut it out of our main fabric, our lining fabric, and also our fusible. All right, so I've cut out all three of my pieces and I've gone ahead and I have fused the lightweight interlining to the wrong side of my main fabric. So you're going to fuse it to the outer piece, not your lining, and make sure that everything is nice and bonded together. From there we're going to put the right sides of our fabrics together and simply pin all around. Okay and we are going to stitch straight around the outside leaving an opening space for turning. So I'm going to just take this right to my baby lock altair and give it a quick stitch. Now that we're at the back end and we've left an opening here, we're going to hit the reverse button and make sure that we do a back stitch to lock everything in place. And from there, I'm just going to simply trim all around the outside to relieve some of the tension. You can see here that I'm trimming every quarter of an inch or so, and I'm just going to go right around the entire outside of my circle. With our piece all trimmed around the outside, it is time to turn it. And simply, you're just going to turn the pieces right side out and expose the beautiful fabric that you picked. And you can see that a high contrast works really well. Okay, and I like to just roll my fingers around the outside edge to make sure that I have the seam allowance right up to the very, very edge. It makes it a little bit easier now from there, we're going to give it all a really good press for our little opening right here. All you're going to do is tuck in your seam allowance and fold everything under. And make sure that it joins together so that you have both the lining and the right side fabric tucked under. And then just press it. You may have to play with it a little to get it just right. And then pin it in place, and then we're going to take it back to the machine and stitch all the way around the outside. So there you have it. I have my piece stitched all around, and it's nice and smooth. I'm going to give it one more press and then it's time to work on our drawstring. All right, with the outside of our bag stitched, it's time to work on that drawstring. The first thing that you're going to need to do is have a strip of bias. 
an inch and an eighth wide. Now bias fabric is all about the grain and it stretches. If you're not familiar with it, be sure to check out my tutorial on how to create continuous bias. I'll link it below. All right, it's time to make the drawstring. And I know what you're thinking. It's so small, you're probably cringing and you're worried that you're gonna mess it up. Well, I promise you I've made it foolproof. The trick is we're going to use this special foot. It's called the binder foot by Baby Lock. There it is, right there. The binder foot by Baby Lock. And it is going to attach right here on our machine. And the bias that we just cut is going to simply slide right through here. Now, to get started, you're going to need to hit the lever on the back of your machine and just simply pop that off. Really simple. I'm gonna put it inside my draw space in my Baby Lock Altair because I don't wanna lose it for later. And then from there, all we're going to do is take the bias that we just made and we are going to put it right through. So the way that works is we're gonna take our foot and we are just going to slide it right through. It is easier to do it off the machine you want to really kind of wiggle it through and you are going to need to probably push it through you can see it right there and I am just going to get a pin a straight pin will do and let it work all the way down you need to wiggle it a little bit see it just popped up and then once you have it you can pull it through and you're gonna put it right underneath, okay? And now this hole right here is where our needle is gonna go through each time. So now that I have it off, all I'm going to do is just pop it straight onto my machine, okay? Right like that, and up. And from here, all I need to do is just guide it. Okay, the first one is gonna be a little tricky maybe, as it comes out, you may notice looking a little wonky and that's totally okay. So you'll notice I pulled from the back right here just to make sure that all of the fabric is through. I'm putting my presser foot down and I will guide this fabric straight through all the way. I've got it on a straight stitch and I'm using contrast thread, so you are going to see every one of these stitches. So let's take a look and let me show you exactly how easy this is, okay? Remember, I'm just guiding it. and the foot is doing all of the work. Let's see, is it long enough that I can show you? Let's do a little bit more. Okay, now let's take a look and see what that looks like. You can see it right here. Look at that contrast. Now it's beautiful, it's on both sides and it's perfectly stitched. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue stitching the rest of my drawstring length, making sure that I have enough for my bag, and then I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, with all our pieces stitched up, it's time to put on those little embellishments, the eyelets. And the easiest way for us to do this is to take our circle and fold it in half and I'm gonna use my heat erasing pen and I'm gonna mark an inch down on both sides and this is going to be the spot for my eyelet and then from here I am going to fold it in half the other way and do the same thing this is going to give me four markings and we're going to fold it again you want to make sure that you have evenly spaced markings. So you're going to repeat to put them all the way along. I like to just fold it in half and use those as my guidelines. 
After you have all your markings positioned on your bag, you're going to utilize your eyelets and the two tools that came with it along with a hammer. Now, I don't suggest that you do this on a wooden surface. I actually suggest that you take it outside this way. You don't have to worry about damaging your desk, the floor, or anything else. So the first thing that you're gonna do is take your scissors and just poke a hole right where the line is. Okay, and you're gonna have to just cut it so that you can get the piece in there. You wanna be careful not to cut it too large. Okay, and then you simply wanna take your eyelet and push it straight through. Put it through, then you're going to Simply use the bottom piece, flip it over, and put your clasp on it here. And just line them up just like the manufacturer tells you to do. And then you're gonna use this and just tap, tap, tap with your hammer, and it is going to be that simple. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. And after that, all we're gonna do is slide our drawstring right through and our bag is complete. Remember, you can make these bags with just a simple fat quarter, a little bit of lining, and some time. Be sure to visit me at thesewingloft.com for more instructions and easy sewing tips.